Hello friends, today we're diving into the world of Formula One engines, the pinnacle of internal combustion technology. In F1, we don't just call them engines, they're power units, a complex fusion of precision engineering. Let's kick things off by exploring the heart of it all, the internal combustion engine. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights. Now let's first look at the internal combustion engine section which is the most important of these parts in the internal combustion engine section. There is a 1.6 liter ver 6 six cylinder engine located at a 90 degree angle. This engine has a single turbo. When you look at the system in the engine, it is not fundamentally different from vehicles of today. Air is taken from the air filter. This air passes through the compressor section of the turbo and then passes through the intercooler. Differently, these engines have an air container. So all the air is collected in a container. This container is generally made of composite carbon fiber to make it lighter. Air is drawn into the cylinders from this composite container. This V6 engine is designed based on specific molecular information received from fuel providers. In example, Petronas provides the molecular structure of its special fuel for Mercedes AMG and Mercedes designs and manufactures. The internal geometry of the engine in a way that best suits this molecular structure. In this way, the air-fuel mixture is distributed very homogeneously in the cylinder and burns homogeneously everywhere during combustion. Since the compression ratios are very high in these engines, special spark plugs are used. Because wanted homogeneous combustion, during combustion, pressure is created that creates an incredible pressure of four elephants per piston. At the same time, the maximum temperature of the cylinder during combustion is 2750 Celsius degree, which is half the surface temperature of the sun. These are, of course, much higher values than those in the cars we use today. Thanks to this superior engineering, Mercedes claims the efficiency of the F1 cars is 50%. In other words, half of the fuel's chemical energy can be transferred to motion only around 30% efficiency can be achieved in cars of today. But of course, this special fuel, special design, is formed by the combination of all of them. Now, apart from this internal combustion section, there is also an electronic section called ERE's. So these engines are actually hybrids, but we can say that they are much more complex hybrids than all hybrid vehicles used today. There are two different motor and battery units inside the ERS section. The electronic control unit is also located here. The operation of two different electric motors is as follows. One of these electric motors is called the thermal unit, and the other is called the kinetic unit. The thermal unit is connected to the turbo of the engine. That is, it rotates connected to the turbine. The kinetic unit is also directly connected to the crank. For example, when accelerating at full throttle on a straight line, the turbine inside the turbo rotates more due to the exhaust gas. This turbo turns the compressor, and there is still increasing energy inside the turbo. During full throttle, this thermal electric motor becomes a generator and stores the extra energy in this turbine, or it can give the required energy to the kinetic unit and transfer it directly to the crank as power. This power is around 160 horsepower. On the contrary, when it slows down, the kinetic unit is used as a generator. This time the stored energy is transferred to the thermal unit, and the pace at which the turbo rotates remains constant. This effectively eliminates turbo lag. When that F1 car slows down, its turbo doesn't slow down. When it steps on the gas, it can continue at the same speed with all the pressure and boost. While all these events are happening, the turbo is turning 100,000 RPM. These electronic units control itself so that it does not fall below this speed. The systems that control all these events are also known as control units. To give a little more information, in the internal combustion section that we mentioned at the beginning, four valves are used, two inlet and two exhaust valves. In short, the air inlet is provided through two valves and the air outlet is provided by two valves. There are some regulations regarding these in Formula One, for example. The engine block cannot be used as a composite an aluminum alloy has to be used. The fuel these vehicles can use is limited, 
They can use 105 kilograms of fuel per race. They generally use less than this. But more important is the amount of fuel entering the cylinders. No more than 27 grams of fuel is allowed per second. This is limited. At the same time, the maximum revolution of these engines is 15,000 revolutions. It can convert more, but this is a limited value. As I said, to provide competition, of course. These rules have always been based on certain events over the years. The minimum weight of the engines must be 145 kilograms, and the battery weight must be between 20 and 25 kilograms. They cannot exceed these values. At the same time, as you know, hybrid vehicles provide a huge advantage when starting. But in Formula One, they are prohibited from using the hybrid feature during starts when the vehicle speed is above 100 kilometers per hour. The extra power of the electric motors comes into play. The most important thing here is that we have seen that the engine can reach 50% efficiency. Actually, this is a very important value. If common cars could reach this achievement, environmental pollution would be greatly reduced and power values would rise. But, unfortunately, it is not possible to spend this much money. Millions of dollars are spent on Formula One engines. And if these values are transferred to cars of today, the price of common cars will increase significantly. So of course, mass manufacturers reduce the values and thus reduce the efficiency. At the same time, it is impossible to ensure that the fuel quality is always the same. Because of such factors, daily cars cannot exceed 30%. The total power of all these units is almost 1,000 horsepower. Ferrari's last vehicle is said to be very close to 1,000 horsepower. This is the latest technology of internal combustion engine guys. If you want to get different information about different motorsports, be sure to write a comment below. At the same time, if you like the video, you can share it on your social media accounts, and do not forget to press the like button. If you are interested in such videos, you can subscribe to our channel and watch many more such videos. That's all for today, friends. Thank you for watching.